The electric fence was initially developed primarily for the agricultural market for livestock control. Thus the Energizer has a large transformer that converts an AC mains or DC battery power source into a short, powerful electric pulse. So depending on the location of the Energizer, if it's at the homestead or out in the field, it is either mains or battery powered and can also run off solar. The Energizer has two terminals. The earth goes to the pegs and the live goes to the fence. When an animal touches the fence, the current travels down to the ground through the animal and then is directed back to the energizer via the pegs, completing the circuit and resulting in the animal getting a shock. Due to stock thefts, farmers wanted the fence to serve not only for animal control, but also to protect their stock. So the fence was routed back to a monitor that would warn the farmer if the fence had been cut or tampered with. If the monitor registered a significant drop in voltage, it sounded an alarm. As we can see, it started to get a bit messy with additional add-on accessories, but this paved the way to develop a security unit which incorporated all these features within them. First, there's a box which is connected to a mains supply. There's an internal backup battery for when the mains power goes down so that the unit can carry on working. There's a transformer and a monitor. There was now an additional terminal, one for earth, then one comes out of the energizer to the fence. The fence is now much higher with more wires for security. They are connected in series back to the energizer and the monitor. The monitor constantly reads the voltage on the fence, and if there's a drop in voltage below 3000 volts for longer than three pulses, then the energizer sends out a warning. For extra security, there are also additional negative return wires between the live circuit to increase the effectiveness of the fence. In summary, we can compare the agricultural and security energizers to a tractor in a sports car. The agricultural energizer is like a tractor, built for the farm. It's rugged, able to withstand harsher conditions out in the field. It is not fast, but is strong and able to carry a big load. The agricultural energizer is designed to power through vegetation that may grow on the fence. And it can still deliver a good shock over a much further distance. The security energizer can be seen as a sports car, designed with much more complex engineering. Made for performance, it has internal computers and sensors delivering information back to the driver. It will easily beat a tractor in a road race, but its performance will be severely affected if it was to try tow the same load as the tractor. As security and farming requirements have changed, we have adapted to keep up with new needs. Farming is becoming more automized, now, tractors have combined with sports car technology to create fully robotic, autonomous vehicles using satellite and Wi-Fi guidance systems to be able to carry out tasks on the farm remotely. We have combined our security and agricultural features into one unit in our jumbo range of energizers. An energizer that provides the power and brute force of the agricultural energizer, but that also has the security elements built in. Thus, it can be linked to our perimeter patrol system, Wi-Fi and GSM features means you can monitor and control your fence lines remotely. And the system can be integrated with other autonomous systems on the farm. A farmer can through their cell phone or tablet monitor and adjust any element of their fence from anywhere in the world. Warnings are delivered on their devices and they may act accordingly. Viewing cameras on the fence line, sending out personnel to investigate the fault and to receive reports. We are constantly striving to improve and update our energizers to accommodate to changes in both the agricultural and security markets, putting us in the forefront of the electric fencing industry.